Hey guys, Nick here from Everything Electronic. Today I just wanted to give a quick recap video of my robot. I was not able to make a new video because we had to travel a little bit and I fried my power system on the robot. So after rebuilding that and adding some of the gifts I was given for Christmas, which included a LiDAR and a TNC 4.1 microcontroller to my robot, I have some stuff to show. I also was given some of the parts I need to fix my jet ski. So hopefully that video will be coming as soon as it gets warmer outside. All right, let's see what I've done here. Okay, so here's the top of the robot where I have the head which can rotate and a PlayStation eye camera which can tilt up and down. Here is where I mounted the LiDAR which is on a swiveling platform on the robot. And I will show this in more detail later. But that tilts up and down according to the tilt of the robot. Next we have the power plate, I call it, which has some control switches and LCD screen. This is where the main power system is. Below that we have the Raspberry Pi plate. And the Raspberry Pi is handling all ROS um, data sending to the main computer. Below that we have a Teensy 4.1 microcontroller controlling our motors um, on this chassis I made, which is a four-wheel drive chassis, or two-wheel drive, sorry, but four-wheel uh, chassis. And I just used this chassis as a temporary uh, way for me to learn ROS so that it makes doing slam and navigation easier um, without having to think about self-balancing. So yeah, now let's go look into that LiDAR thing in more depth because I think it's really cool. Okay, so here is the LiDAR. For anyone who doesn't know what a LiDAR sensor is, it's basically a distance sensor, but this one is on a rotating base. So it spins, and because it spins, it can get a full 360 degree readings if, if you record the readings. And this is used by Ross to create a map. So this LiDAR is mounted on a little platform I made, and that platform can swivel. A servo motor can make that platform go up and down. So I mapped that platform to stay level when the robot tilts forward and backwards because when this robot is self-balancing again, the robot will be constantly tilting forward and backwards depending on how it's driving. When it does that, I want the LiDAR to stay flat. So here you can see if I pull the robot forward or backwards, the LiDAR stays flat. So here you can see on my Ross master computer, I have a navigation stack running. And here you can see part of the map I've made. I am currently using a lot of James Bruton's code, which is really useful and works great. Here you can also see um, my transform data, which shows my base, uh, the base of the robot, and where the laser scanner is. And if you watch, the laser scanner tilts forward and backwards according to the tilt of the robot, but you can also see that the laser itself stays flat because of that tilting platform. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.